Hey everyone and welcome back. So, returning to locals. Yes, finally we get to go back. I mean, truth be told, it's the second time we went. But, Bandless, Looming, or Orcus Harpoor, decent chance it comes back to one. So, it's like, hey, let's play Cyber Orcus. I really couldn't think of what I wanted to take. Um, and then last night I had thought about it and thought about it. And like, pretty late I was like, oh, Cyber Orcus. So I sat in bed with all the cards. Um, doing some ratios, some test hands and put this deck together and actually have had zero testing, like zero at all, zero uh, testing before going and I didn't have too high of expectations. Um, ideal behind the deck is going second and using like Cyber Dragon and Dangers to really break boards and to uh, get into my plays and having the Orcus engine there kind of as a backup and just kind of seeing how it went and I was actually really excited. I do have changes I want to make. I'm going to show you guys uh, I'll tell you the cards that I plan on changing. I don't know what I'm going to change them for yet. I do want to test a bunch. And if Harp comes back, that's going to be huge. Like, um, if Harp comes back, I'll probably play Gearsu because I didn't play Gearsu at all. Uh, so that's one big change I would make. But anyway, if you like the playmat, it's almost live, guys. I have, I know, more samples. I've said it so many times. Um, but I have another sample through a different provider who worked with me on the image and it should turn out much much nicer in this one I mean you can't tell in this picture but infinity's a little blurry core's a little blurry and the dark zane I mean looks kind of horrendous so I don't I don't feel comfortable selling this this exact uh, playmat we may maybe we do a giveaway as a prototype you get a prototype something I don't know um, sure we can do that I do want to say um, John I did not forget about you once I get those um, images finalized into my liking I will st still send you another playmat since unfortunately that one um, you know like everything in the mail nowadays got lost so I didn't forget about you but we do have another giveaway like comment on the video and I'll give this playmat away as well again minor imperfections it's a prototype but giveaways are for free so there's that and go check out SL or the the Leon he changed his name um, I'll have his channel link below I forgot that what he changed his name to our friend Sid Leon uh, he's doing a replay dueling book replay channel um, focused on he's having a lot of dragon rider content like posting replays from these cash tournaments big card tournaments um, highly highly competitive so check out those replays check out his channel again I'll link it down below but what you guys are here for Cyber Orcist it's back we did it Cyber Orcist it's back right um I think pure is better I'm not gonna lie I think pure is better but Cyber Orcus is definitely playable uh, I went personally I went uh, one Cyber Dragon um, I felt like with the engines already um, just the the way the deck worked and with dangers with the dangers I don't like dupe at all um, personally I don't but you can draw into your dupe or your dupe tart yeah you can and yes you can set your dupe but you're just like trying to force feed dupe through the deck then and I didn't like it whereas the dangers are giving extenders and play lines like you need to use those extenders and play lines don't try to use them to force dupe through like I just I really don't like dupe in uh, danger builds at all so we're not playing machine dupe uh, three core that's gonna be pretty standard through any cyber dragon deck three hers cards crazy with dangers because it just helps you plus even more off of them um, two naxer cards crazy with orcas because well guess what you know, you can discard your Orcus and get into your engines that way. Uh, two Galaxy Soldier rounding out our Cyber Monster lineup. Pretty standard for no dupe, um, no for no dupe builds. Nothing too crazy or fancy there. Uh, Orcus engine, we played two Nightmare, one Symbol, one Wand, and then the one Orochi. I would 100% cut this for another Nightmare. Uh, that's one of the changes I plan on making. I never felt like this was the best card to go into. A lot of time, like you'll search it off Crescendo or um, dump it off your uh, Nightmare. Maybe if we get Heart back, I do want to test keeping it in if we get Heart back, and I also want to test not playing it at all if we get Heart back. But like that was more the play line because Harp gives you the free body on board in your Nightmare, and then Nightmare can dump this to give you the free body that way. Whereas now it's kind of Nightmare dumps Wand, and this just kind of is a little less irrelevant. Um, and I sided it out a bunch. I just, it was almost, it was never the optimal play to go into it today. So if we get heart back, I do want to test with and without it. But if we don't get heart back, I definitely would not keep it in. I wouldn't suggest keeping it in either. Uh, danger lineup. We got the two good ones. Um, Jackalope and Nessie, uh, mandatory to play these two. Snack. I plan on cutting this. Um, I don't need, like these two are guaranteed bodies and I put out bodies enough already. Um, we're not playing like the PK package. 
I, I definitely don't think this is necessary at all. And like, I just, I, I would rather it be a different card. Um, so I do plan on cutting this too. And again, like you could play, I, I don't know. I'm not huge on Gearsu and Cyber Orchest either. Um, not because the conflicting normal summons, like three core, three emergency, even with danger draws, like you're going to open core maybe two thirds of the time if you're lucky. Like on a good day, obviously maybe you hit it 90%, but like statistically you're in that like 57 to like low sixties with your danger draws. So I don't, I don't want to, uh, like, I don't care about the conflicting normal cause it doesn't, but even with harp coming though, I do think gear offers a lot of advantage. So I'd probably play like one to two gear uh, we'll test all this. Like if harp comes out, if harp doesn't come back to one though, I'd probably put one gear in and just cause it's orcas combo is another starter, but that's probably about it. I'm not, not super big on it. Um, yeah. So I'd almost rather play scrap recycler cause I can dump like a hers off of it too. Um, Gears is the better card. It just kind of usually you play it with um, other cards, and that's why I'm not huge on it. But then otherwise, two Bigfoot and two Thunderbird that we used for breaking boards throughout the day. Um, opening two of either of them isn't ideal. And our one loss was to uh, Prank Kids game one or round one. Game three, I had uh, go. He hit me with Ghost Spell and Ash Blossom. And I opened two Bigfoots, and I Bigfooted Bigfoot, which just kind of sucks overall. So that's pretty much that. Hand traps aren't really that important, but we do have uh, three Phantasmae just for fixing your hands, fixing your boards, all that. Getting the free body on board is always really nice too. And then just Nibiru being the best hand trap personally, um, because we kind of have good matchups versus a lot of higher decks. So this kind of fills that void versus the decks that we don't, such as Drytron. And that's why we played that. Three emergency, one repair, one overload for our cyber lineup, if you will. Um, not too much on change. Rev system's not needed if you're not playing Dragoon. Uh, not a huge fan of it in non-Dragoon builds. Then the one Babel, Orcus, um, and one Foolish card's really good. Like, it puts your Nightmare in Grave without having to discard or hit it or anything like that. So I do like the Foolish. And then Forbidden Chalice card's insane. It's broken. If you open this in any Cyber Dragon, like you beat Tri Brigade all the time, easy. Uh, overflow and then the Crescendo. Again, like don't forget the Banish from Grave effect. You can actually like side a Jinzo and this can search out Jinzo if you want. But uh, we didn't do that. Um, I don't regret it either, but it's something you could do. Extra deck, uh, two Mega Fleet, one Fortress, pretty standard there. Uh, like Locals usually is a lot of Striker so I and Salad, so I like that lineup. The one rampage, one of our win conditions. I sided the package. I never went into it. I never wanted to. I never would. I'm gonna cut that for sure. Um, just left it in the video so you guys know I did try it. I don't like it though. Uh, definitely would not play it, and that helps for budget reasons. The two Nova, you could easily cut one for something else. Uh, if I had Zeus, I would play it. Um, the one Infinity, so I'd cut that for like a Zeus. Cut that for a second Dingirsu probably, and then the one Dingirsu. Then All Mirage and your Verde, you know, that's going to help with your Infinity Rampage OTK. So you're going to play Verde no matter what, whether you play um, Dragoon or not. The one Galatea, you could also add a second, but I'd rather have a second in Gearsu. Uh, IP Mascarena. I went for like Babel with this a lot because the send from Dingirsu and then the spin from Unicorn felt way stronger and it gave me a good follow up and the uh, Orcus Crescendo play. Negating and Banishing is really good, but I felt like the send and spin was just stronger for most of my matchups the one i even had core and I core next or nightmare and i searched out my overflow and had the multi pop and then also the send and the spin so like being able to destroy well you know destroy uh four or five cards is really really strong and probably a lot better than just having two negates because you can kind of disrupt your opponent at three different key points as opposed to two and if they have like dark ruler or something like that it can hurt obviously but you still have that other form or i guess that's a bad example because you'd have crescendo so just ignore that part but uh boral sword your other other win button um having like going into this and then banish symbol summon nigiris who send a card and then nigiris and boral sword like it's it's enough for game a lot and then if you have infinity too you can even absorb a monster it's just deck is really really good today really strong um prank kids round one 
Then we played a Blue Eyes Dragon Link, 2 0 um, regular Dragon Link, 2 0 that one as well. Um, not really any issues, like I said, just the Nibiru crazy versus the deck, and then having, like, being able to pop, send, spin, like, it was too hard for decks to play through. And then just for fun, for an, uh, a fourth round, because we only did three rounds despite 28 players, um, I played a friend and 2 0 him, he was on salad, so went 3 and 1 with the deck with pretty low expectations, but. It actually worked out really good, so make sure you're subscribed, comment down below, and win the playmat. Otherwise, yeah, so Cyber Orcust is back, maybe. Konami, give us harp to one. That'd be pretty sweet. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.